So another fabulous episode this week where we learned so many things. The good thing about a limited series show is that usually they aren't that many episodes and since they have to wrap everything up by the end, you don't get any draggy, slow, filler types of episodes and I was just really happy with the pacing of this episode. Although every episode has been really, really good and I'm kind of into these limited series types of shows. So we have found out over the past four episodes that Cora is either someone who is a habitual liar because she's somehow maybe guilty beyond killing Frankie, maybe guilty in what happened to Maddie, which I'll get into in just a little bit, maybe other things we don't know about, or she's someone who suffers from a personality disorder and or a mental disorder, or she's been abused so much that she isn't sure what is real or what is true. So I'm having trouble trying to figure out is she kind of a bad person? Is she lying intentionally? Is she trying to make people think she, you know, had a terrible life? Maybe she didn't. I mean, I want to believe her story about her parents being so super crazy and her mom being like a religious cultish kind of person. But you have to remember that everything that we know is coming from her point of view. And since she's been proven a liar many times in each episode, Sometimes I wonder, is, you know, even that true? I don't know. I don't know what to believe, and I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. So we found out that JD was, in fact, involved in the incident that happened the 4th of July weekend. Um, one of the things she lied about is that she said she knew him because she lost her virginity to him, which we know wasn't true because we saw the flashback of her losing her virginity to a neighbor named Kevin when she was much younger. Um, so Phoebe continues to be, um, like, a sexual deviant, and it's very bizarre because she's super young in the show. Um, she's always kind of encouraging her sister to do bad things and I really don't know what has happened to her. We we're told that she's dead but I had a live chat today which I'm going to do every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern so I hope you can make it next week. But anyway, a lot of people in the chat seem to think that Phoebe's actually alive. Now if that is the case, if you remember when Mason, Cora's husband, went to go see JD's, I guess, girlfriend to buy the drugs. You saw a blonde haired girl like sitting outside. Um, you can not really tell much about her face, but they kind of made eye contact. I'm wondering if that could have been Phoebe, if she is alive, or what's her deal, because I feel like if Phoebe is alive, she is working with JD and those people and probably is leading a not so great life. Um, so I'm just really intrigued by this series. I think it's really, really good. We also learn that Maddie is dead. Well, we didn't even know Maddie into this episode, but we had been seeing her in flashbacks as like some woman or girl with blonde hair. So we find out that that was like JD's ex-girlfriend and Cora says she was extremely jealous of her because JD and Cora had something going on too. Um, and we find out that she was murdered. Now the easy answer would be that JD did it, but what if Cora did it? I think JD's involved. I think he probably helped to bury the body, but to me it seems like Cora probably killed her either out of jealousy or rage or she was so high on drugs she didn't know what she was doing. Um, I thought it was really cool how they used the school bus imagery, her memory of that school bus where it kind of tied to where Maddie's body was buried by that old like wrecked school bus out in the woods. I continue to feel sorry for the detective's wife because I don't really think he wants to be with her anymore and he's so distracted and so wrapped up in this case and his affair that he doesn't really seem to have any time for her and that's just kind of sad because she seems like a really nice person. But I don't have any clue how this is all going to wrap up or what's going to happen. I do want to throw out, if you have read the book, um, sadly I found out that it was a book from someone trying to tell me what had happened in the book. I don't know if that was malicious or not, but I just, I'm just going to have to say this in every video. If you are watching this video because you read the book, um, I do not want to know what happened in the book because even though Jessica Biel has been saying in interviews this is not going to be the same as the book, um, I still don't want to know anything about it because you never know. It could be a spoiler. Because um, I seem to have that happen a lot on my videos where they're based on books. And I don't know if it's always someone trying to be rude or if it's just someone who's offering information they think I want to hear. Um, but I don't. So if you've read the book, please do not tell me anything about what happened in the book. I really respect that. And thank you for respecting me because I don't want to know. And it definitely could be a spoiler because none of us know what is going to happen in these next few episodes. So we don't know how much of, you know, how much of it is going to be like the book. 
Um, but with that out of the way, again, I'm having the live chats every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I hope you can make it. Um, if you love this show, subscribe to my channel because I'm covering the next four episodes. And I have a lot of stuff coming up on my channel. American Horror Story returns September 5th, so I'll be covering the seventh season. Um, Riverdale's coming back, How to Get Away with Murder, and This Is Us. And those are all shows that I will continue to cover on my channel. So if you're fans of those shows, subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed my review of episode four. Let me know anything that you found interesting that maybe I didn't point out any kind of theories you have about Phoebe. Is she dead or alive? What are your theories about Cora? Is she telling the truth? Is she not telling the truth but doesn't know she's not telling the truth? What's her deal? What's going on with her parents? We found out that her dad was having an affair with the neighbor. Um, I still feel like he probably sexually abused Cora and probably her sister. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe there was another family member who did that, but all of that just seems pretty bizarre to me. Um, but I love reading your comments and I reply to everyone. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.